Hello everyone, you are in Endurance Laser Lab. In this video I want to present you and explain how our new optical system for DPSS laser model works. So before that we used a beam expander and this guy actually expanded beam and decreased divergency of the beam. And then we had a focal length lens here that uh, was 80 millimeters, so you got uh, the 80, well, eight, probably like 60 microns laser beam spot. So we actually like this idea, but we decided that we want to make something more flexible. So the idea with these things that you can change laser beam spot and focal depth with the same uh, lens. Well, I explain it on our DPSS laser page. So the basic idea is very simple. Uh, let me uh, draw it quite very quickly. So you have the lens here and once it's the minimum, uh, minimum range from a source, you have, let's say, 10x uh, laser, laser spot. Oh, let me make it closer to you. Okay, so you have we have beam radiation goes here, and here we have well depends on the focal uh, length of our lens. So if it's 50 millimeters, then it'll be roughly 50 millimeters here, and we'll have a laser beam spot will be let's say 10x. Well, let's just say that it's x. The good thing that the focal depth, focal depth. Uh, focal depth will also be 10x so it means that you have big spot and this big spot remains uh, well, quite uh, long distance so the, the idea is that once you add a spacer like this so that means that your source your lens goes here and you get smaller laser beam spot with the same lens 50 millimeters let's say so you get something like 3x laser beam spot spot and also focal depth will be less so that means that here let's say for example uh, we'll need to calculate but a laser beam could be a spot could be like 300 microns microns here it'll be probably like 100 microns and then the focal depth will be for example here it could be like even i don't know maybe like five centimeters like two inch here it will be maybe one centimeter one centimeter so the basic idea is very very simple you can add uh, let me zoom zoom back so you can add those spacers and well, once you add it, you decrease your laser beam spot and you decrease your focal depth. So let me show you how does it work. So uh, usually we send it in this form factor. So I, I remove it. You already see the lens here. Here we use 50 millimeter uh, lens. We add it like here and we add it here. Okay, everything looks good. Let's do it somewhere else. This is our P dynamic PWM. Okay, let's make sure that you can see everything. Okay, and let's 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 turn it on and let's see what we got. Okay. So you see that the depth, focal depth is quite, quite big. It's 100% power, painted aluminum. Let's take uh, polished aluminum. Yeah, as you can see, the beam, laser beam spot is not, is not very small. See, I remove it and so, move it back. And let's take piece of Steel. It's stainless steel. Okay. 
So once we add another spacer, a bigger one, we'll have, I don't know, like maybe 17 centimeters. It's closer to, uh, it's like seven, yes, seven, seven inch. And um, you'll have the smallest laser beam spot. Even with, like I said, with a big focal, focal range lens. That actually makes our DPSS laser module quite flexible. Yeah, that, that's quite big <laughs> barrel of a gun, uh, laser gun. But that, that gives you extra flexibility and we really, we really like it. So that you can get extra flexibility with our solution. Okay, and let's turn it on and see what we got. So you see, and you can even hear the noise. So it means that the laser beam spot is much smaller. And here you can see, yeah, then you can even see it, but the depth is less. So you see the depth is probably like a few millimeters only. So yeah, probably it's pretty hard to see here because it's polished aluminum and it's not so easy to focus, but uh, Oh, okay, so you can see very, very tiny, very tiny spots. Okay, and the last thing, last test on stainless steel. So let's turn it on. And you can also hear the sound. And the depth is also small, but the, the, um, but the laser beam spot should be quite, quite small. So yeah, that's that's uh, just a quick video how you can use and uh, work with our uh, DPSS laser lens spacers. So now with those spacers, you can actually have one lens and have quite uh, flexible parameters like laser beam spot and focal depth. So if you want to learn more about our lasers, visit our website endurancelasers.com and visit our online store endurance-lasers.com. And once you order our 10 watt DPSS laser model, if you need some special lens, let us know. Usually we send 20, 30, 50, 40, 50 millimeter lens and the diameter of the lens is a half inch. So you can actually find one on uh, eBay or Amazon. Well, what the only thing you need is to know your focal uh, range of the lens and uh, that's pretty much it and here the, the, our lens are they have air coating and reflective coating for 10 16 uh, nanometer wavelength so you have less uh, ref, uh, you have less losses on those lens so if you have any questions uh, let me know my email is gf at endurancerobots.com and my phone is plus seven nine one six um yeah nine one six two two five four three zero two. Just forgot my phone number. And have a wonderful experience with endurance lasers. Bye bye.